All presidential candidates were given the opportunity to speak parliament and seek members' support. Somalia's 329 members of the lower and upper houses elect the president. In her speech, Fauzia highlighted her past achievements in government. You have the chance today to create a new chapter that will go down in history forever and for generations of young women seated here, as well as for others who aspire to excel in their country and do something for their country. This is a golden opportunity, and now it is your turn to show your support. Fauzia is a trailblazer for Somali women and appears confident the male-dominated parliament will elect her as the first female president of Somalia. It is significant for pure Somali intellectuals who want the country to progress to see me as a person who can fulfill this role. And corruption is exactly what we are fighting, so I cannot tolerate it. In the event that I am elected president, I will eradicate corruption and resolve animosity, violence, and tribalism. The federal government minister of human rights, Bakis Fawzia, we believe she would come up with a solution for the insecurity, hunger, and thirst in Somalia today because she understands, dissociates, and is a mother, and mothers think differently than fathers. But her critics say a woman cannot run a conservative Muslim-majority country where many believe women should work only in the home. Professor Hassan Sheikh, a scholar and active member of Somali civil society, says Fauzi has shown that women are capable leaders. Having held senior posts in Somalia as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, she became the country's first female foreign minister. And Faja Haji Adam is running for the presidency, and I'm really excited about it. Jawahir Barqab is J of the Benadir Women's Organization. We show our appreciation and praise for her courage as she has sailed into the ocean. Ocean, I mean, the men in Somalia who will not allow anything for us. Fauzia faces an uphill battle in the election Sunday, but she remains optimistic about winning and that she can bring peace and stability to Somalia. Hamish for VOA News, Mogadishu, Somalia.